Welcome to the second video in what I think is going to be a 10 video series all about using the Navigator 6 um, for both on-road and off-road touring and navigation. Um, it, this video is all about designing routes and um, I'm going to take you through uh, an application called Reva. So I do not use Basecamp to um, design my um, road routes. Um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, the Basecamp interface is tricky. It can actually be quite frustrating to use and it's slow. Um, whereas Reva is much more intuitive. It's, if you've used Google Maps, you pretty much know how to use Reva. Okay, so I'm at the um, Reva website, which is reva.co. Um, Reva is a free application, but it does offer um, Reva Pro, which is um, I think uh, I think it's about six or seven US dollars per month. Um, I've subscribed to Reva Pro, and I'll show you the big benefits of that. But um, irrespective of where you are in the world um, and whether or not you decide to use upgrade to the paid version, I think Reva is a great application for um, uh, doing route planning. Okay, so when you come into Reva, you're actually in the um, the route planning sort of mode and if you want to get into that you just hit this plus button in the top right which is plan a ride. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that Reva actually works a lot like Google Maps. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom out, you can sort of move the map around, you can zoom in etc. So it's quite um, quite intuitive. So if we go to, I live in Austin um, in Texas, here is um, is my hometown right now um, but the real benefits of the if you choose the pro version is you get access to this Butler motorcycle maps so if I click on this G1 you'll see that some of these roads have now been highlighted yellow which means they are um, you know grade one route roads or just amazing roads to travel on if I click G2 you can see um, the second best roads are highlighted and G3 now sort of shows you um, more roads which are which are great riding. What's interesting is, is I actually thought this was just, um, the Butler was just a, a US thing. You can see as I look around the US, lots of um, graded roads. But um, what I just discovered today is if, if I go across and have a look at um, Europe and I go into Germany, I can see that Germany has actually also been graded and um, parts of Italy and bits of Austria. And Switzerland so looks like um, uh, this is starting to propagate into other parts of the world now besides the Butler um, uh, graded roads you can also discover different routes so for example if I have a look I can go in and have a look at um, let's say if I go to UK and I want to see if there's any paved um, paved routes that I can have a look at I click on paved routes and um, and in a second you should see it'll highlight um, should highlight a couple of, oh here they go. Okay, so I can see these are routes that some of the other uh, community members have actually uploaded and often there's pictures, um, you can click on them for greater details. Uh, so th these are sort of community routes that um, have been uploaded. But if I go into Europe for example, I can actually also look at things like um, uh, staff picks. So these are, these are routes that um, looks like Reva staff have actually uh, uploaded and identified. So think of Reva not just as a route planning tool, think of it as a real um, uh, ride database um, that hopefully will continue to grow with time. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is let's go and we're gonna use Reva to actually um, build two routes. So let's say I was gonna do a weekend ride in my uh, local area of um, the Texas Hill Country. Um, I'll show you how easy it is with Reva. We're then going to take those routes that we built here, bring them into base camp, um, and build our, our uh, Nav 6 routes there, and then put them onto Navigator. So here's how I would go about um, building a route. So I'm going to start in um, Austin downtown. So I'll just click downtown and make that my starting point. Now I'd like to ride out to a town called Lukenbach, which is um, which is out west. Here it is. So I can zoom in to um, to uh, find Lukenbach on the map, and I can 
click, mark that as my finish point. Now what's happened is Reva has just sort of, it's automatically built the fastest route and it's created that. Now obviously that's not what I would want to ride, not, I wouldn't want to sit on the motorway. So this is where you can now start looking, you can actually start um, building the route that you want by just dragging parts of the route on. And what it does is it starts to um, build waypoints along the way. So for example, I might ride, uh, let's, go, let's say I want to come down here and ride this, uh, this bit. And then I might also want to come down, I'll go by here. And you can see how fast and how easy it is to actually drop waypoints in and then modify your route. So, okay. And so that's it. So I've now created a route. On the left here, it says that's going to take me about three hours, 21 minutes. It's 170 kilometers. Um, the nice thing about it is once you've created it, it's really, still really easy to work with. So if you want to just, just change um, part of it, you can just click and drag the waypoints. Move that up there. Um, and you can also delete waypoints. You come up here and it'll show you all of the waypoints. If I wanted to get rid of waypoint 5, I can actually just get rid of it. And it's gone. Um, and it's all sort of pretty much click and drag as you would expect. Um, you can sort of just keep modifying and moving things around pretty easily until you get the route that you want. So let's say that's, that's the route that I'd like to do. It's 2 hours 36 minutes now. Um, I'm going to say continue. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to say uh, Brent Ride to Lukenbach. Uh, and I'm just going to save that. Okay, so it says nice, you can share it with your friends. I won't do that now. Um, now, once that ride is saved, this is where you can actually export the GPX file. So in the top right here, it says download GPX file. So if I click on that, it gives me a bunch of options. Um, the one that I always use is this track, static line. I do not use their routes. So I click track, and now it will actually download that. So that's now downloaded um, into my browser. So I can close that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan another ride now and I'm going to do a different route back from um, Lukenbach to Austin. So it's going to be two days ride. So I'm just going to come back out um, and come back to Austin. Okay, so if we go to uh, that town of Lukenbach there, so I'll make that my start point. And then let's say I'd like to go, I'm going to come out, maybe do some rides up along here. Uh, I'll just so you can see I actually haven't put a finish point, I'm kind of just adding the finish point as I go, doing it this way. And I'll come back up to 71 and then back down. Okay, and you can see sometimes if you put them in silly places, it's taking me out and around. That's where I would just adjust, just drag my waypoint up to adjust it. Um, I can look back through there and finesse that, that route. You can see it's much easier than trying to do this on base camp. Um, so I'm just uh, tidying up that route. Uh, actually, and same here, I might actually bring that back around here. That's better. Um, okay, so there's my route back. That's um, almost four hours, 216 kilometers. I'm happy with that, so I'll just say continue. I'm going to call that um, looking back to Austin and save. Okay, I'll uh, now. This is where I get access to downloading the GPX file. So I'll download the static line. So now you can see I've got my two um, GPX files down here. So I'll close that. Uh, okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get out of full screen mode. I'm going to just put those, those two files onto my desktop. So I'm going to take those GPX files and just drag them up here. And we're going to use those in the next video when I bring them into Basecamp and prepare 
turn them from tracks to routes. So that's all this video. Hopefully, um, doesn't matter where you live in the world, you can use River as a route planning top, um, tool, and you can. It's a very fast and very convenient way of actually planning your route and exporting GPX files. Um, I'll see you in the next video, which is going to um, be all about how you then bring those into Basecamp and work with them.